Hey everyone, I'm Courtney and I'm a clinical educator in anaesthesia here at Burton's. I'm going to show you two quick tests that you can do with your ECG cables prior to placement on the patient so that you can ensure that they're in good working order. This first test tells us that all of our cables are in working order. If you pick up your ECG cables, you will see quite a lot of interference on the trays. This is because right now they're all seeing different signals as I touch them. In order to see the same signal, what we can do is just connect them all to each other. And what we should get is a nice flat line on leads one, two, and three. And this is because our machine is all seeing the same signal between all of the ECG leads. So on lead one, we have a nice flat line. On lead two, we have a nice flat line. And on lead three, we have a nice flat line. And we're having this flat line because all of the cables are picking up on the same signal. The second test allows us to make sure that each cable is working correctly. What you want to do is pick them up and hold them in one hand without any of the electrodes touching. I have removed the crocodile clips for this test and just exposed the banana plugs. In leads one, two, and three, the active electrodes are red, yellow, and green. The black electrode is purely for reference or for grounding. Therefore, if you have interference on lead one, two, and three, it is likely that it is your black reference cable that is broken. In lead one, the active electrodes are red and yellow. Therefore, if I touch them and introduce a signal, we should get interference on the trace. Because the green electrode is inactive in lead one, if I touch that, there should not be any interference. In lead two, the active electrodes are green and red. Therefore, if I touch them and introduce a signal, we should get interference on our trace. There will be no interference if I touch the inactive yellow electrode. In lead three, the active electrodes are green and yellow. If I touch them and introduce a signal, we should get interference on our trace. There should be no interference when I touch the inactive red electrode. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions on these two tests, please just leave them in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this.